Good afternoon, everyone. Bureau of Meteorology in Australia forecasting mega drought so intense that it seems there's no turning back. Wettest record, September, Murray Darling. Record floods, Tennant Creek, turning roads into rivers. All-time record rain across Uluru in the Alice Springs area, Central Desert. The desert is blooming like it's never done before with so much rainfall. Unusual cloud patterns across the Australian skies. You can easily see the precipitation differences during the grand solar minimum. This also affects the southern hemisphere. And instead of debating the topic, Australian news media picks up global warming is going to increase salmonella and E. coli. And don't worry, we're going to solve your problems. We're going to install wind and triple your electricity price. And while you're watching, please remember to press that subscribe button for ADAPT 2030 and pass this through your social media. Just a few years back, Bureau of Meteorology and the Sydney Morning Herald working in conjunction to tell you that this is going to be the mega drought that will never break across Australia. It's going to be the new normal and there's no turning back. The CO2 is going to affect the continent and that the drought is going to be so severe that you'll have to build desalinization plants. Wet a September on record in Murray Darling. Also, Northern Territory, Tennant Creek. Gets a full year of rain in the first two weeks of 2017. These are in the desert areas here. In case you want to look at how much rainfall there is throughout the year, here you go, Tennant Creek. Streets turned into rivers. Once in a 50-year flood has now been updated into the once in a 150-year flood, breaking all records ever kept. Hey, wait. One month ago, Ularu in Alice Springs area also broke its all-time record ever recorded for most rainfall. Coincidental? And when these so-called experts and the leaders of the Meteorology Bureau are calling such wrong, absolutely pitifully wrong information about how the climate's moving, they should be removed from their positions. They're calling mega drought, yet heavy rainfall cutting off outback cattle stations. The outback is blooming like never seen before. They call it the desert inner party dress because it is so rare to see grasses so tall. You got rivers in ultra flood stage across Western Australia. Roads are cut, but you know, it's supposed to be a mega drought. And then these same people who called mega drought said there would be no more snow and all the ski resorts would close down. You had to do a little research. You'll find that these last six months ushered in Incredible snows, the most snows they've had in 20 to 30 years across the ski resorts in Australia. Epic season and even late season snows. Yet these are the same people that are giving you the forecast and they still have their jobs? Impossible. Unusual weather front swinging up from the Antarctic that would be expecting a grand solar minimum. So unusual you can actually see how it's pushing from space. Water vapor concentrations, deep lows right into the central desert areas of Australia. Water temperatures off South Australia and Western Australia below normal. Five times record rain South Australia. Hey, I thought we were supposed to be going into a mega drop BOM. John's Weather Channel, a must stop for any of you looking at Australian weather information on Facebook, had this amazing collage here of strange clouds over the Australian horizon. And instead of debating that the BOM is wrong and that it's actually changing the opposite of what they predicted all these years, what does the Sydney Morning Herald do? They write an article talking about global warming is going to increase salmonella and E. coli. In South Australia, hey, you know, they're going to do what's good for you. They're just going to raise all your electricity prices by three times and say, look, we're stopping global warming. Through the history record here, you can see precipitation varies in the grand solar minimum. There seems to be that peak just before the cold comes. And when we do look over longer time frames, 2,000 years, the footprint of the grand solar minimum is visible in the southern hemisphere. It's a global event. We should be talking about what's going to happen with our crops. 
Ningbing range, wetter during the Grand Solar Minimum. Tableland North Queensland, wetter during the Grand Solar Minimum. And with the record floods across all these areas, it's a repeating pattern. And those of you living in Australia, you should be making phone calls daily, writing letters daily, asking why these people are still in their job position that have given you false information for over 10 years about how the climate's going to change. Those people need to be replaced. And it's time you exercise that right to free speech through opinion pieces that you write that start the grand solar minimum debate. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Please take a moment to jump over to GetTheTea.com. Colostrum, reinforcing your digestive health as well as boosting your immune system. Because in today's toxic world, we need all the help we can get.